Dropbox is one of the best options for cloud storage, especially for author who wants to write scientific paper because all of them can work on one version of the file. I'll show you how. So at first you need to go to Dropbox and create an account. If you have an account, you can use sign in. So there are different options. And there are different plans. If you need it for free, you need to use Dropbox Basic, which is free. It has a two gigabyte cloud storage, which is maybe not enough, but you can enhance it and I show you how. The next step is uh, enhancing the cloud storage. So there are different options. For the one is uh, you go to the plan from setting, you go to the plan, invite friends, and you can click the your link from here. Or in some other Dropbox, you can uh, you can go refer a friend so your link is here so you can uh, invite other friends uh, with this and you can get some uh, free space as a gift so from here so after copying you need to go to ebay for instance and search something like that for uh, dropbox permanent uh, 18 gigabyte for instance, we use this and we buy. After buying, you need to contact to the seller. So you need to send a message to the seller. You go to the contact seller, contact seller, and you can write your, you can copy and paste your referral box, just this. And you can wait for one week or two weeks. Your drop box will be increased. Now let's go for the installation. So you can go to, after uh, signing into your account, you can go to your uh, setting here uh, below the setting and see install the app. After the installation the app, the app will be installed and you need to log in. So for the login, the first important thing is that uh, for the backup. So don't set the backup because it back up from your desktop and it uh, can get your storage which is not good for you so you don't need to tick them after uh, synchronization you see the folder uh, which was uh, shared with you for instance uh, you want to share uh, one of them with other so simply you can add a person here and write the name and share if your Dropbox is full and you want to remove uh, yourself, you can just simply remove the other person or yours. Or you can make it as an unshare folder, so it will be unshared from all the authors. For instance, you want to work on the one file. This is the file you want to work on it. And uh, here is the Dropbox bag. You see who worked on this file it means that it shows that myself uh, work on the file so it shows uh, who is working on the file for instance here you see another person is working on the file so it's better you go out without saving because it uh, doesn't make uh, two versions so uh, do not work on this. Sometimes it shows a like here. It means that another person is working. It's better to not work simultaneously on the file. If you want to work simultaneously, it's better to use Dropbox online. For instance, in this case, we go here. And the first thing I want to show you is about the version history. Uh, you can see who worked on the file, for instance. Uh, first, I created, so you can restore or, or download the previous version of the file. It's good. Another thing is this, if you want to work online, it's possible for you to work online. So you can work uh, on the file. 
So two percent can I think uh, can work on the problem, but I am not sure about this.